what uh, are there any uh, artists, any movies, any, any books that have inspired you to have that frame for those, those frames that you have? Yeah, uh, he gave me the name Achilles from the movie Troy. There's a reason for that. That movie really affected me. Right? And if you watch the character Brad Pitt plays, which I think he played it terribly, but regardless of that, the character is very well written. I'll give you a few moments in that. He jumps on the horse, he's about to go fight this giant guy, and this little kid, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl even, is like, I heard the guy you're fighting is so big, aren't you scared? Or I would never do what you do. And he looks at him and he says, and that's why no one's ever going to know your name. Now remember that when you don't approach a 10. My God, I would never do that. And that's why she's never going to know your name. Okay? That's a frame, that's a frame that I, I choose to have in my life. Okay, if I want something, I'm going to go for it, because otherwise no one's going to know. Okay? Uh, I'll give you a few more scenes from that. He says to, to them on the ship as they're about to go take, take the, the land, right? Him and his little army. He says, out there, on that sand, that's immortality. It's yours. Take it. And his troops run and go crazy. I had a student of mine who was competing in it was called Shark City Nationals in martial arts, right? And he won first place. Then they came to me and they said, he's ready to go for a grand champion if he wanted to do it. And he was just fucked up. And I went up to him and I said, hey man, you want to just go for the whole thing, you know? He's like, no, dude, I'm just retired, blah, blah, blah. And I had that movie scene in my head, right? So I took him by the stage, because I'm going to go on stage. I said, hey, on that stage, brother, is immortality. I said, it's yours, man. I said, it was almost the same exact wording. <laughs> I said, it's yours, brother, go take it. I said, if you don't do it, no one's going to know your name. First place is not enough. Be the best, fuck the rest. That's what my teacher, Manu, would always tell me. He went over there, he competed, he won. He became the grand champion. So if your frame is that you're deserving, uh, that's a great question, because there's a lot of movies you gotta find characters in them. V for Vendetta is what I use. Troy, uh, there's so many. On and on and on, okay? I really like the whole vampire movies. You know Twilight series? Edward Cullen, if you know nothing about it, he's a vampire. She wants him because she can't have him. She could almost have him, but not fully. And then there's a werewolf, and he's all up on her nuts. He's a fucking werewolf, right? The dude's like, Whoa. And he's treating her like, oh. Bella? And she's like, I can't talk to you. I'm like, what a bitch. Right? But the guy she can't have. You always gotta be right, right outside of range. Right outside. I mean, she can, she can have you slightly. And then you're gone again. It's that mysterious, like, you're here, you're not there. You're here, you're not there. You understand how it goes? One thing I do is I'll just show up to the work sometimes. Out of nowhere. Show up. <laughs> this just happened the other day. And she's working, one of the new girls I'm talking to. And I'm like, damn, it's hard to get a hold of this bitch. Fuck it, I know where she goes. So I show up, she's waitressing, right? And I walked up, as she's on the table. I grab her shoulder, turn around, hug her real tight. She's like, come. The, 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 the table's looking like, who the fuck's that guy? Hugged her, pulled her aside like this, pulled her by the wall. How are you? She's like, good. I said, good. I got some food for you, okay? I'm gonna bring it. Okay. Put it back, went in my car, came back with a bag, sit like that, put it on the table. She goes, you're gonna eat here? I said, no, I already ate. That's your food. Boom, gone. <laughs> what a moment, though, man. I mean, I saw her just go. <sighs> and then disappear for a couple of days. That's why it's an art, okay? It's an art form. And, and you're going to fall into this mistake, which I have many times. You just, you get so fucking good, you're just like, dude, I'm a fucking god. I could have anything I want. So then you stop gaming correctly. And you start having this weird bullshit like, oh, they really like me for me. Well, maybe they do, maybe they don't, okay? But if you want to be successful, just do the right steps. And I've seen that happen many times. I say, oh, man, I can do anything. I break any rule. Fuck it. Well, I don't even have to do shit anymore. And then suddenly I find myself like, what the fuck happened here? And then that's why it's so important to have an understanding of the mystery method, the structure. Because then I can go back and go, ah, uh, oh, fuck, misqualifying her. She thinks I only want her for her body. I never, she never got that I like her for, she likes puppies and I like puppies or some shit. Right? Okay, good question. Any other questions on that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you said that the strength of the friend is important. How do you keep the strength? Because sometimes we hit these primordial uh, instincts. Oh, puppies, I need to reproduce. 
So how do you keep your frame so strong? Uh, and yeah, mm -hmm. any other uh, besides also inspirational uh, characters? Any other uh, ideas? Tons of them, and I'll tell you. Okay, and that's why the game is so powerful, man, because it's a personal evolution when it's done right. For me, it's life. You know, it's completely changed my life. Continue to change my life. So there's a few different ones. One, I believe everything a person does is because they believe it's survival in the end. Even all the stupid actions we take, we at some point thought, well, that's the way to get ahead. So the moment you see the, the conscious survival, the, the, wow, this is fucked up. The moment you really get that every time you chased her, she ran away. And it becomes real to you. It wasn't like, well, I don't know what happened. No, dude, you chased her, she ran. You chase another one, she lose 10 hot girls like that, which I have, and you're going to be like, that's it. I'd rather die than chase a girl. Fuck it. <laughs> so right when you're about to chase a girl, ah, listen, fuck it, I'm not going to do this. So you got to have enough of that almost like pain where you get, okay, this action is not survival. I need to stop. One. On the other side of that is when you are successful and you're not chasing, you stack successes. So now you've got both happening. Right? Next, who you surround yourself with. When him and I go out, it's magic. Okay? At some point we're going to go over some of the things that happened. But that's because there's power being generated like They don't even know what the fuck hit them when we walk into the club. The last couple of times we went, it's like, what the fuck, dude? I remember one time, we were, he was sitting down. I had another student of mine who I took to train with him. And we were talking, and the chick walked by. I didn't even know her, dude. I don't know if you have a memory of this, but she walked by. And I just turned around, and I grabbed her. Didn't know she was. Put her on my shoulder. Put her down like this. I said, this is my good friend James Matador. And she was like, and then he got up, and... She was his. That's powerful. You know what I mean? So it's who you surround yourself with. Take a look around. You have to evolve. If guys have wingmen or friends that are hating on them or just like negative shit. Like, dude, are you sure you want to talk to her? She looks like a bitch. <laughs> Did you look in the mirror? You look like a bitch. Okay, don't do that shit. You need someone who just like, you got shut down ten times. He's like, yo man, are you a man or are you a girl? If you're a man, keep going. See, my, a lot of my friend comes from the warrior mentality, right? That's where I come from. So if, you're, if all of us had to defend this place suddenly and those people coming here, the, the one that would be like, ah, is a weak link. We need everybody to be like, fuck it, I'm going. And to me, my reproduction is that important to me. I'm with a 10. You'll see her tonight. You tell me if you've seen a, a better looking girl than her, even if she's not your type, okay? Just watch her. To keep a girl like that, it's pretty intense. But believe it or not, having other nines and tens around makes it much easier. And this is part of the frame. No matter how hot she is, I know, I've been there, she can leave me. And should that day ever arrive, that night she could be with any guy she wants. She better know I have a selection of 10 to 15 girls that are as hot as her. And I can be in their house too. And when we argue, we're on even field. We both have an atom bomb and we don't want to use it. You know what I mean? It's not two countries, one out of the other, like, dude, I'll nuke you, like, oh, please don't, I fucked up, I'm sorry, okay, shit, and then you go away hating her, I don't, I don't want to hate her, you know what I mean, we play on evil, even ground, okay, so, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, remember, game, <clears throat> after you get past the technical moves, this is your body leaning, this is how you neg, technical, then it's all inner game, it really, it's just working you, constantly evolving as a human being, okay, good question. Any